Hey everybody, welcome to AustinHartmanMixes.com and today we're going to talk about active mixing. Active mixing is when you move faders around during a live performance as you would automate in the studio. Now this is contrary to passive mixing which is where you leave the faders as in set it and forget it, which is pretty common among churches. But let me show you the difference in how it sounds. So as we start out here, it's just a vocal, and you're gonna see over on the right-hand side of the screen, I'm gonna introduce some stereo delay at this moment right here. Now over on my left hand, I'm adjusting the electric guitar. Now right here, I'm adjusting my stereo bus compressor. I'm adding my kick verb in and my stereo delay there. Now in this moment of the song, we want the drum set to feel really big, so lots of verb here. Keeping the vocals on top with my left hand. Now I'm going to add some stereo delay here right at the end of the phrase. I'm going to back the drum set off, back the verb back. Introduce a little electric guitar. Now right here as we go into the next phrase, I'm going to introduce a little bit of the band to kind of make the music feel like it's picking up. You can see with my right hand I'm bringing to the band. Now the key part with the active mixing is, is you always want to make sure the vocals are on top. Whatever musical element you introduce, always make sure you keep the vocals on top. Remember, as an engineer, you are the ultimate funnel. If somebody is sucking it up on stage, it's in your job to be sure that you dump them out of the mix. A little stereo delay there. Now, right here, there's a vocal moment. Pull the band back so it's just vocal. There is power and forgiveness and glory and so much love in the name of Jesus. So as his church in this room today, we get to lift up his name and unite okay, our hearts. Okay, now right here as the vocals come in, we're going to bring the verb back in and some effects. My cry in the battle, my strength in the war. Now right here, there's a huge build in the music that's going to land with some wailing chords during this last chorus as a declaratory moment of the music. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the band in underneath and we're going to push the band as the band plays on stage to make it feel like it's increasing in intensity. Watch here how I do that with my right hand and how much adjustments I make during this build. Right here, we get into the build. I'm just trying to make a lot of adjustments. Bringing the band in. Make sure the vocals stay on top. Notice through this entire chorus, I always have my hands on the money. We always have our hands on the vocals to make sure that we don't lose them. Right here, I bring in a nice guitar solo. Now 
Now right here, I'm just gonna close out the song. We're gonna make this transition feel nice and smooth. 